A grouper volcano eruption is inevitable, as scientists warn of a catastrophic event. The world's supervolcanoes have been dormant for thousands of years, something that troubles many researchers who study what happens between super eruptions. Super volcanoes can be found all over the world, sometimes perched on top of crowded cities. Nearly all of them are waiting to explode and covered much of the land with ash, lava, and molten rock. To be a supervolcano, a volcano must have experienced an eruption at some time in history with a volcanic explosivity index VEI, of 8, the largest index value recorded. Some supervolcanoes are the most famous volcanoes in the world, such as Yellowstone in the US and Lake Toba in Indonesia which has been the subject of many documentaries and films. Even though we know supervolcanoes are about to erupt, little serious effort has been made to monitor them and find out what to do if one erupts, and a team of geologists previously warned that the ensuing chaos has been largely ignored. Supervolcanoes often erupt several times with an interval of tens of thousands of years between each event. The last eruption occurred in Taupo, New Zealand, around 27,000 years ago. The problem, according to Professor Martin Denisic, from the John de Later Center based at Curtin University, is that little is known about what happened at the supervolcano during that period. Writing in a paper published in the science journal Nature in 2021, he noted that, Gaining an understanding of such long periods of inactivity will determine what we look for in young superactive volcanoes to help us predict future eruptions. He continued, Super eruptions are one of the most powerful events in Earth's history, releasing huge amounts of magma almost instantly. This could impact the global climate to the point of causing the Earth to experience a volcanic winter, an abnormally cold period that could result in widespread famine and population disruption. Studying how supervolcanoes work is important to understanding the inevitable threat of super eruptions in the future, which occurs once every 17,000 years. However, Although scientists know a lot about the world's supervolcanoes, only a few volcanoes are regularly monitored and inspected. Professor Christopher Kilburn, a volcanologist at University College London UCL, previously told Express.co.uk that is a myth that the world's supervolcanoes are being monitored by authorities. Worryingly, he said, Supervolcanoes are so large that it's almost impossible to prepare for their eruption. When a danger like this becomes so great, you can't do much preparation. We saw a very large earthquake. The best thing you can do is to try to build buildings that are less likely to collapse. But beyond that, what can you do? He added, you just have to hope to God that when an earthquake happens, the buildings stay standing. But of course, we see all over the world where buildings inevitably collapse after a normal earthquake, but there are very few contingency plans after that. There are only emergency measures to help people. In the paper, Professor Denisic and his team investigated the magma left behind after the devastating eruption of Lake Toba 75,000 years ago.